Hello, hello, my Transformers hooligans. It's time for Diecast North's Galactic Hooligan. And I'm really happy to be here with you today because I actually got something great in the mail just the other day. It's upgrade time. And I am really, really ecstatic about this upgrade kit. Like, um, actually, two upgrade kits I'm actually going to be talking about today. And uh, one of them actually has to deal with Prime. You know how we actually had that trailer that actually came in that actually seemed like a Hasbro afterthought. And it was just so much, uh, the only thing that actually, uh, that it was, was just a box, you know? It was kind of like cool for the storage and everything, but what else was it good for? But then, along comes Non-F, and they actually make such a great upgrade for this thing. I'm actually really excited to come over here and talk to you about it. Thanks for joining me again. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. I also appreciate each and every one of you for joining me today. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, and here we go. We are actually gonna bring in Wheeljack and Prime here. And we are actually gonna be talking about a product that I am really, really stoked about. So right now we're gonna be talking about a company called Non-F uh, non Productions. Uh, I think they're actually kind of like just like maybe a small printing company and everything or like a th small 3d printing company But what they actually do is they actually Give weight to like things that were actually kind of like uh, that were actually kind of like afterthoughts as far as like as far as like this trailer is actually concerned I already made the upgrades and everything and I couldn't like stop myself from doing it or anything like that I kind of like almost felt like doing it you know, on screen and everything But I just wanted to give you the after effects as to what this mighty piece actually looks like and most of you Most of you already know exactly what the Prime's trailer actually looks like without all the pro or all the parts so I kind of like felt like it was actually kind of like important to actually like show you exactly what it actually looks like already and everything and already there is just such a stark difference in everything like you guys are actually going to notice it's actually going to be right over here and remember over in all these places and everything like that you actually had this that was actually pretty bare and everything like you know and then you also had like this piece that was actually like also kind of like missing there were like missing so many truck elements we remember the, do the way the door is now you actually get like headlights I mean you actually get like backup lights and everything like that. you get backlights you actually get an actual door here and everything you know that's actually really really nice there's a little spoiler in here already I'm pretty sure you actually saw that you know but what this actually does, it, it, it actually enables you to give so much weight here to this and everything, make it look like an actual trailer instead of just like a glorified, just like plastic box and everything, you know? I love the fact that they actually did this also because like with these pieces in the way, you're actually trying to like actually bring this all the way up here and everything. And this is where it actually kind of, where the trailer actually kind of sat before, which you know, was actually kind of like more of a miss than a hit for me. But now that they actually bought this trailer a lot more back, it looks like that's what an actual truck should actually be and everything, minus the cables and everything like that that are actually attached to the back and everything for stopping and for like, and for all that other kind of, th all that other kind of things. But what this actually does is really cool. So like, you actually have this, but you also have these stabilizers right over here that you attach and there's no screwing or anything like that that's actually involved here or anything like that it's just like an easy tension uh friction peg that actually goes right in there and the only part of parts forming that you're actually doing here is just attaching this like this and just getting this little piece right over here and attaching it down here which is just all right with me you know what I mean? Like that actually sits really well and it gives a way for when you're actually opening up the trailer to open it up to so much more. Now they actually do have, uh, uh, they actually do have like this piece right over here. This is their roller. I put like four Titan Masters in this and 
The way it actually works, you can actually use either Titan Masters or you can actually use like Headmasters and everything and put them in here. The Autobot symbol was actually in there due to like a sticker set that I actually already had and everything. I may just get a, like a smaller Autobot sticker just to, like put over here and everything, but that's my roller. It doesn't really roll as well as he should like if even if you put him over here you actually kind of like have to like kind of like force it down and kind of like roll it a bit and everything so like rollability isn't all that great on a roller or anything like that but he's actually cool you also get i mean it's actually cool for just like having it being included in the trailer you also get a couple of like other uh, a couple of other things here and everything like this so like with this mech droid right over here this mechanical repair bay droid you actually get this whole entire thing where you actually get the radar dish you actually get like a couple of like other little pieces right over here that are actually like missiles and everything and i love the fact that they're actually effects compatible and everything like you know so if you actually wanted to like actually go all out and kind of like use it as a way of like firing and everything like that you could actually easily put those in and that's awesome. I really love the fact that you can actually do that on this. These are actually easily removable and everything. And you also get like one of those pegs right over here on the top of the uh, radar dish. That's nice. Also, you kind of like get this also and everything, which is like another pneumatic arm that you can actually use, that you can actually install. Really, really easy install. All it is, is just like a friction peg right over here and it goes into this. Doesn't really work as well, not necessarily. I mean, I think that it would have been cool if we would have actually gotten two of those. And like maybe in the back over here, there could have actually been this piece that actually went into this over here and everything like that to give it like a little bit more dimension and everything. Like, I really think that there are a couple of things that could have actually been like done that way, but like just to like actually give us the overall look of Optimus Prime in his trailer, that's great, you know? You also get these control pieces right over here that are actually nothing more than just like pegged in and everything like that, you know? So if you actually wiggle it out and everything, you can actually easily get it out and everything. You also get this little gas or this gas main right over here and everything you know so like it's very very cool and i really really just like enjoy the fact that non f actually made such a great little piece right over here i love it really well worth the price and everything you know i think this was actually like about 25 bucks or something like that for like the for the upgrade kit and everything and I really wish that like on a flagship character, on like a flagship uh, figure like Optimus Prime, we would have actually been able to like get the whole shebang and everything as far as um, weaponry, as far as the trailer, as far as everything else is actually concerned. But, you know, it wasn't meant to be in this time and end, in this time and era and everything. And like, I thought that we actually got so much with Astro Train. So it just made more sense to like actually have this sub, uh, this whole entire thing being done in Prime also and everything. Like I said, it really wasn't. And I kind of wish, I kind of like really think that Hasbro actually kind of like missed the mark as far as that's concerned. But really, really nice though. I love the way this trailer is actually filled out now. And what do we actually put Prime in to complete the whole entire picture? Just very, very cool. I really, really love this set. I really, like I said before, I really wish that they actually, that Hasbro actually did this with Prime a long time ago. But, you know, it, I mean, it is what it is and everything, you know, and I'm actually, I'm just glad to actually be able to like get this set. You can actually still, since you actually took off the, uh, since you actually took off the old shield, and everything you can actually always like still use them with prime if you actually really wanted to but i love the fact that this ramp is actually a thing and the playability on this has actually become outstanding on them so like if you actually do decide to like actually get one non-f product for your optimus prime this is actually it I really, really love this project, and I am actually just like a true believer right now in everything. You know, I love it. Now, let me bring you into Wheeljack. Wheeljack actually comes with a lot of parts also and everything. I really love everything that actually went into this. You actually take off the older Backwings 
that were actually right over the older like spoilers. And you actually put on a new pair of spoilers that actually works more with his robot mode than anything else. So if you didn't want to, you could actually always keep the older ones. Now, they actually, all of this actually comes in a way where it's actually like Gundam parts and everything that you actually have to cut and that sort of thing. But like, once you actually get them together, it's a really, really sturdy plastic and everything. I love it. This is actually his his uh, shoulder missile launcher. And for this, it's actually great. They actually did something else pretty clever, like cleverly and everything, where they actually gave like a peg for either his left or his right shoulder. Usually I'm actually gonna put it right on his right shoulder more than anything else. And it's just really simple to follow, simple to like actually see exactly where things actually go and everything. But once you actually get it done, all you actually have to do is lift this right over here and you can actually insert the missile right onto the top. No place else for his gun or anything like that. So other accessories that he'll actually come with are these two wrenches, in which case, I actually decided to give one of the wrenches over to Ratchet here, you know, because they are buddies and everything like that as far as like fixing things and mad sciencing and that sort of thing. So like, I think that actually looks great in his, uh, in his hands and everything, you know, so he can actually double wield heal, you know, but also, uh, he also comes with this pistol also, this is actually very G1 and also very effects compatible and everything. So you could actually just like always put in like anything that you actually want into this. It's actually really, really cool. You could also put in like another effects part like right over here on the front of this and you know, just like go to town with it and everything like that. It's very cool, I love it. And I love the fact that they actually really matched, uh, they actually really went out of their way to like match the effects parts as much as possible. So like, kudos to you. So now, when we actually get him into robot mode, the only things that have actually changed in the transformation is the fact that you actually just come to the back and you split the wings like this and damn. Now that actually gives you an outstanding wheeljack looking much like he actually did in his G1 days. So all you're doing now is just giving him a pistol and you're also coming over here and you're giving him his rocket launcher and just putting this right on the side. You could actually keep the rocket, love the older rocket launcher and everything like that for whatever have you. But this is actually very awesome. Hold on guys, I'll just drop this and here we go. And there we are. And if you actually like, if you haven't noticed how much more wheeljack this actually became. He actually became 90% more wheeljack just by actually having these, and I love it. So, if you haven't gotten anything as far as like upgrades for your for your uh, for your siege or, or for your Earthrise Optimus Prime and for your wheeljack or anything. I really wouldn't look much further than than Nana Productions. You can actually get them over. You can actually get them on on his website. He's actually very prominent there and everything. But get them as soon as you can because, like, I really can't stop like saying how great this uh, this product actually is. And um, like I said before, if you actually want a complete Prime and a compl more complete Wheeljack, I really wouldn't look any further than Nan F. So that's it for me, and I'm just going to give you my final thoughts. Being a guy who actually loves collecting Transformers, I really love the fact that Non-F actually gave us uh, something that actually gave us like a little bit more realization to what Prime should have actually been, you know? And I love the fact that they actually give us so much dimensionability with this set and everything. So thank you, Non-F. I really appreciate what you actually did for this and I couldn't be more excited. Thanks again for joining me, guys. This is Diecast Norb signing off and saying, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. Also, remember, being kind is the most gangster thing that you can actually do. So make sure that you're actually kind to each other and to yourselves and play it forward. Until next time, this is Diecast Norbs and I'll talk to you soon.